Hi and welcome back to the Island Gardeners. Today we'll be propagating our tomato plant by grafting. We need a grafting knife, pruning shears, grafting tape, plant tag, rootstock and cyan. You want to thoroughly water the plant you're taking your cyan from and leave it for 5 minutes. This here is our hybrid tomato plant. It's a determinate variety and we'll be planting it, uh, grafting it onto this uh, susumba plant here or turkey berry or Solanum turvum. Now this plant is uh, very fast growing and one of the, the benefits of grafting onto this plants are a plant that is resistant to root rot, various types of wills and nematodes. Your plant will be a lot more resistant to drought although consistent watering is required so that the fruits do not uh, split open. Also, the need for fertilization will be drastically reduced if not eliminated, as we do not use fertilizer on our um, grafted plants. Grafting it above the soil will also eliminate moisture related uh, diseases that tomatoes can suffer from. And one of my favorite reasons is that you will have a very long season uh, which you might just prune back your plant and, and, and allow it to be sprout. Now this is my first time grafting a determinate type of tomato onto the Solanum turvum and we I definitely need to see um, if it will continue growing uh, as they usually do as we've had tomatoes grown for um, well over a year and produce fruit. Here I'm taking a scion from a tomato plant that we've grown in a pot. Um, that's basically just taking off the tip of a tomato plant um, with a similar thickness as the section of the turkey berry that we want to graft this on. We're going to be using our grafting knife and create a wedge, V-shaped wedge on the end of the tomato that we've just cut. Let's just mash this up one more time. Uh, the turkey berry branch that we're going to be using as the rootstock branch. We want that to be new growth from the last um, growing cycle. All right, and there we go. We have our V wedge placed onto the sand. And now we're going to be cutting into the rootstock deep enough for us to wedge this uh, end of the scion into it directly. Uh -huh. So maybe we'll go a little bit more. And what's the most important here is that we need to ensure that at least one end of the cambium layer from the cyan on the rootstock are matched up and if you can get both sides in terms of the thickness to match up that would be perfect as this one seemed to be matching up right here now we're going to be using some paraffin tape and we're going to just stretch it a bit so it gains some elasticity and then we're going to be wrapping it around our grafting ensuring that you seal it completely so no moisture will be lost and no insects or no water can fall in and cause any rot within the plant. It's also beneficial to leave one leaf on the rootstock for this grafting. I definitely seem to have torn off too large a piece of the paraffin tape but that should be fine. Now we're going to be tagging and dating our graphs so we can know what was grafted here, what date it was grafted and how it has been performing over time as we'll be grafting several different types of plant, tomato plants. We also have some affiliate links within the description. If you'd like to support our channel, you can use those links at no charge to you. Uh, just click on the links to purchase from our, our Amazon affiliate store or our Etsy store where you may be able to get 
purchase uh, the Solanum Turbo rootstock. So you may also graft your tomatoes or eggplants and peppers onto this. So overall on this plant, we grafted three hybrid tomato plants and this is on February 11th and we will be giving you some updates. We may be doing this video in probably a few different segments so you can watch the progress as it goes along and, and, and see the results. If you have any questions for us, uh, you can go ahead and ask in the comment section and we'll respond as soon as we can. And please like, share and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for joining the Island Gardeners. Happy gardening.